New developments overnight in the Kennedy family tragedy. The 22-year-old granddaughter of Ethel and the late Robert Kennedy found dead at the family compound in Hyannisport, Massachusetts from a suspected drug overdose. Whit Johnson is leading us off with the very latest on this. Good morning, Whit. Cecilia, good morning to you. It's another sad chapter in the Kennedy family legacy. Searsha Kennedy Hill was just beginning her adult life, a senior at Boston College. She, her family now remembering her passion for philanthropy and generous spirit. This morning, authorities are investigating a Kennedy family tragedy. 22-year-old Searsha Kennedy Hill, the granddaughter of Robert F. Kennedy, passing away after being rushed to the hospital. On the phone with the uh, caller now, 21 Marshawn in Hyannisport for a possible OD. A possible overdose at the storied family compound in Hyannisport, Massachusetts. Authorities responding to emergency calls around 2.30 Thursday afternoon. First responders finding Hill in the same home where her grandmother lives. The exact cause of death still under investigation. Hill is the daughter of Courtney Kennedy Hill, RFK and Ethel Kennedy's fifth child. The Kennedy family saying in a statement, our hearts are shattered by the loss of our beloved Searsha. Her life was filled with hope, promise, and love. Her 91-year-old grandmother Ethel adding, the world is a little less beautiful today. The family sharing that Searsha was an advocate for human rights and women's empowerment. But three years ago, while in high school, Hill opened up about her struggles with depression, writing in her student newspaper, quote, I suffered bouts of deep sadness that felt like a heavy boulder on my chest because many people feel uncomfortable talking about it. No one is aware of the sufferers. This leaves people feeling even more alone. So glad to see you all again, and welcome to Hyannisport. The iconic Kennedy compound in Cape Cod is cemented in American history. With sweeping ocean views and lush manicured lawns, the six-acre estate has been a refuge for the Kennedy clan dating back more than 90 years. John F. Kennedy, with his wife Jackie, spent summers there with their children. It also served as the primary residence for Senator Ted Kennedy in his final years. Sadly, the Kennedy family is all too familiar with tragedy. This year marking the 20-year anniversary of that deadly plane crash that took the lives of JFK Jr., his wife and sister-in-law. As for the investigation here, authorities still looking into the exact circumstances surrounding Searsha's death. Cecilia? Oh, such a tragic story. Okay, Whit Johnson. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.